Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to share with you guys what's in my makeup bag. Basically it's going to be a brief rundown of my favourite makeup products for the month. When I travel I try not to bring too much along with me. This is quite small. I think it's a reasonable size for a makeup bag. It doesn't include my makeup brushes but that's in a separate um, little brush roll. This isn't a makeup bag that I bring with me everywhere I go. This is basically um, when I go travelling, go interstate, you know, if I I'm flying anywhere. So let me share with you guys what's in this little pouch. Before I start, this is the Louis Vuitton Trousse Toilette in size 18. This is a vintage piece that I bought pre-loved. It was in immaculate condition when I purchased it. This is a separate strap that I got from one of my clutches. It's actually very old. I would love to buy the Drogon strap eventually to use for this. The reason being is I love actually using this as a little clutch. So when you're traveling, it becomes a really um, versatile top piece that you can use as a little clutch or as a makeup bag um, and this is the smallest version there is the Trousse Toilette in 23 and Trousse Toilette in 28 this is more rare it's not as easy to find and it does run it a little bit more expensive than the other sizes just because you don't see it as often so it took me a while to find this but very very happy to finally have it in my collection so let me show you what's inside is very very full so that's what's inside so let me run through the bits and pieces with you guys so first thing I'm going to take out is my foundation I've been using the covergirl true blend and this is in m4 so this is a decent foundation I am just trying to complete um, finish it up because I know that obviously I'll get darker um, as the summer comes on so I want to use up this foundation before I'm not able to use it um, it's a decent foundation I do like how blendable it is and it's nice and lightweight nothing to write home about but I, I have enjoyed using it so I'll just take some of the pieces from the top here um, next item is my elf cream liner I've talked about this in multiple videos of mine it's an eyeliner but I like to use it for my brows and it's nearly completely finished so that's good after that I've got my NYX dark circle concealer it's more of a salmon orangey based concealer that you use to color correct the dark circles under the eyes and I know I sound like a broken record with all these pieces um, that's why I don't really want to do like a monthly favorites because I feel like if I mention monthly uh, makeup pieces it will be the same because I just I stick to the same things and I'm trying to use it up so there's really no point <laughs> so I thought this would be a better way of showing you guys my favorite makeup the next would be this L'Oreal eyeshadow pencil and this is in delicate beige you guys have heard me rave about the Sephora 24 hour eyeliner pencil still have not gotten my hands on it um, I did make an order on beauty joint for the Milani jumbo liner pencils or whatever in champagne toast um, that is also a great great alternative so I'm excited to receive that obviously the Sephora one is my holy grail for this kind of you know champagne eyeliner on the waterline but hey ho the next thing I'll be getting out is the MAC quite natural paint pot so this is what it looks like just a gorgeous gorgeous matte brown definitely my go-to I put this under everything um, because mostly I do smoke the eyes and bronze shades so this just enhances every literally every um, brownie nude color eyeshadow that I put on obviously if you're doing like a colored makeup look um, it might make it a little bit muddy this is a great color and I like to even just sweep it on top of my eyes and do liner if I'm in a rush so I love this item if I was to run out of this I would definitely repurchase it I have about a million paint pots that I haven't really been using but this one I use very very often so this is what it's looking like as you can see it is compartmentalized here it's got um, this elasticated belt where I put a lot of my more stick shades stick um, items mascara liner just here I put my powders and in between that I actually placed my foundation and then um, just here I've got my palette so it is very spacious I absolutely adore this piece I'll show you the powders that I've got in here next i've only got four um 
powders here. The first one is the Physician's Formula Shimmer Strips. Um, this one is in Vegas Strip which is mostly light shades. I have already almost completely gone through the um, Malibu strip, I believe, which is um, my favorite. But as you can see, I've hit pan on this pretty bad, and it's only got the darker shade, which obviously I can't use for pile lighter. So I use it for um, eyeshadow. And that is a great thing with this. It is very versatile. So those lighter shades that I use for highlighter, I can also use for um, in a corner highlight, which I'm actually using right now. Got a powder in here. Got my Stay Up powder from Rimmel. Um, hit pan on this, which I'm happy about. Um, and this is just, I believe, in translucent. Next, I've got my Kiko bronzer. Like I said, I probably sound like a broken record here, but these are just items that I am trying to use up. I like this bronzer because it is a nice bronzy color, so it isn't for contouring or anything like that. It is more on the orange side, which just gives a bit of a glow to your skin, I think, if you're quite tan. And a lot of people keep asking me what the number is. This doesn't have a number, you guys. So it just says bronzer powder, okay? I promise you I am not lying. If I had a number on there, I'd tell you. It just says bronzer powder, mineral formula bronzer. No number whatsoever. I'll make a little pile here of all the things this eyeshadow can fit so that you can see how much I've got in here. Last powder that I've got in here is actually my blusher. So I've got MAC Melba here. So it is just a peachy um, pink colour. I love it. I'm trying not to blind you guys because obviously the light's coming there and it's reflecting. It is a really beautiful tanny peachy pink. <laughs> I mentioned about 10 different colors there. It's more of a peachy pink color and it is gorgeous for maybe NC35 to NC45 skin tones. It just gives you this gorgeous flushed look and it's the most flattering without looking too orange, too red or too muddy. So I really, really like this. If you could only pick one blusher from MAC, it's either this or Copper Tone, but probably this because it is more versatile. So this is what it looks like now. I've got my two palettes in here and then my my stick things in there. So just tucked in here, I've got my longer pencils and mascara just because I can't really have them standing upright, um, otherwise I can't close this thing. So I've got here my brown pencil. This is my Stila Kajal Eyeliner in Tiger's Eye. It's just a, it's a reddish matte brown color. I don't often waterline with a dark color, um, but if I do, I gravitate towards a brown and then smudge it out. For mascara, I've been using the Makeup Forever Smoky Lash. That's what it looks like. I really, really like this mascara. It builds great volume, so I do enjoy it. It's more of a dry formula, which some people may or may not enjoy, but drier formulas tend to build better in my opinion. And um, in one of the slip pockets, I've got my makeup palette that I've customized. I think I've, I've mentioned this before. This is from Coastal Scents. It's a palette that you can buy separately. It's magnetic. And then what you can do is buy um, hot pots that you can pop inside. This is a mix of Jordana shadows, Coastal Sand, Milani eyeshadows. So there's quite a few um, shades here, but these are the shades I naturally gravitate towards. So a lot of nudes, um, mix of mattes and shimmers, and also blues and purples. And you always have to have a black. So this is my go-to makeup palette that I've really enjoyed. I've also included a small sleek palette. Sleek is one of my favorite eyeshadow palettes as well. I definitely use sleek shadows a lot more than I do with my MAC shadows, believe it or not. And this one is in the Oh So Special palette. I love this palette because it's got a lot of nice bronzy shades. It's got some neutral shades there with the pinks and it's really soft. Also, it's got purples and um, greys here as well. I really like this combination of colors and I do find that the shades are very flattering on um, tan skin tones. So this is something you could consider if you're sick of the Storm palette. And sleek makeup is just great, great quality. The only thing that is um, annoying is that you do have to purchase it online and it's not readily available in stores so that's the only disappointing 
thing. So that's the slip pocket in there. And what we have left are my little pencils and stick things. <laughs> so I'm just pulling out the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream. This is in Morocco. I've really enjoyed wearing um, more orangey lip shades lately. With this it can come off almost fluorescent. So I do usually just dab a little bit and then wipe it with my wipe it around with my finger um, and if I'm in a pinch I do actually use this as um, blush for more of a peachy shade but um, definitely do that at your own risk because there's a lot more fillers in these types of products so just be careful that it doesn't cause your skin to break out but obviously if you're in a pinch you can always use your lip products Okay, I've got my Fit Me Concealer. I think this is in by Maybelline. This is in 20 Sand. Just a great concealer to use on top of the NYX color corrector because that doesn't brighten it more. Color corrects the um, obviously the dark circles, and this will just brighten your whole look. I do enjoy using it, and it's finishing up, which is great. So then I can move on to my other concealer. I've got a second foundation in here. This is just the Cover FX Custom Cover. Drops. I brought this because it's nice and small and compact and I like to use this for more coverage. I just add it to the foundation that I'm using currently or if I'm going out at night or I've got dinner um, and we're going to be taking a lot of photos. I feel like this is a lot more photogenic because it's got no SPF so it photographs a lot better and it's a um, very full coverage but still being very lightweight. So I enjoy this and I have this in G50. It offers a really nice um, yellow under tone which um, complements my skin and I believe I'm NC40. Next I've got my MAC Pro Longwear Waterproof Eyebrow Set. Um, this is in red chestnut although it isn't very red at all. It's just what I use for my brows so let me just pop some on right now. It's alright I bought it to try it's okay. I'm not over the moon about it. Next, I've got my Jazzy Collections Kiss Proof Lip Gloss. I showed you guys this in my previous video. This is in 05 and it's just a chocolatey brown color which is gorgeous. This is from the Philippines. You can't really purchase it anywhere else. I don't think. I apologize. I get my family to buy it for me and it's really, really cheap. It's like $10. I've got my um, Urban Decay Eyeshadow Potion you got to have one. If you're traveling, I find that these are so useful because obviously you don't have time to be touching up or changing your makeup look. So at home, I don't really use eyeshadow bases on a day-to-day -day basis, but definitely when traveling, I don't have to keep touching up. I've got another brow tint. This one is by Australis. This is a shade um, much, much lighter. I like to use this obviously when I want to lighten my brows to add to the whole makeup look. This is in Blonde and it's great. I like this because it offers a lot of color payoff so it really does lighten your brows um, and my brows are black so I think it's great. It does make your, your brows quite stiff so just brush it over but I mean for the price that you pay it, it does the job so I really enjoy this. Last few pieces I've got the Essence Liquid Ink Eyeliner Waterproof. I like this because it's nice and small so I can feel it, fit it into a lot of things. I have about 10 of these everywhere because eyeliner is it's my go-to look. If I'm not putting anything on, it's just eyeliner, um, mascara, and really that would be the minimum that I would put, probably. But yeah, I carry one of these everywhere I go. It's really cheap. It's $5 from Target, and I go through eyeliners so quickly that I can't really afford paying like $50 every time I buy one. And this does the job, so why not? only spend five dollars right okay and the last but not the least are lashes i've got my duo lash adhesive in waterproof dark tone probably my favorite lash glue i don't have my lashes in here normally they would be um but i believe i finished it that's everything that this little bag carries and let me just show you what it looks like now so it is a toiletry pouch you are supposed to put toiletry pieces in here comes with a flap here and two elastic bands just there. This is vintage so it's got a little cloth tag here 
um, it says Louis Vuitton and this was actually made in 1988. The interior is this wipeable material and there are marks there as you can see and that is from my own makeup and usually they wipe it out. You know, if you spill foundation, you clean it and there's no vachetta to worry about so that's, you know, obviously all the dirt. This is just baby wipe. So there you go, all nice and clean, all the black marks are gone, easy as pie and obviously I've got some dirt here on the outside as well which I can just clean with a baby wipe and yeah so that is my little toiletry pouch here and that is what's in my makeup bag like I said you can go ahead and you can put your bits and pieces in there and then carry it like a little clutch like this and obviously who would I be without my little puff there you are and then just carry it as a small clutch like that With the bigger sizes, 23 and 28, I think it'll be a little bit too big to be carrying as a clutch because it is quite thick. But because this is small, it just looks more like a small box clutch. Obviously, you can fit um, toiletry things in here as well. So, for example, I've got my contact solution. I've got my travel toothbrush, some moisturizer, toothpaste, hair oil. There you go. And obviously, you just want to fix it a little bit better, but... That fits too. So if you've been looking for a toiletry bag, definitely check out the Vintage Truth Toilets. Um, I know there's a few toiletry bags on the Louis Vuitton website at the moment, there, but they're quite expensive, um, especially the Toiletry 25. That's about $800. So uh, no thank you. I paid about $150 for this. Best $150 I've ever spent. Honestly, the quality of Vintage Louis Vuitton pieces, it is unparalleled it really is just such amazing thick thick quality and the hardware is still in amazing condition so I highly recommend I love vintage Louis Vuitton it's definitely one of my favorite things to buy that is it you guys hopefully you enjoyed this video and those are my basically favorite makeup products for the month um, don't forget to like this video let me know what you guys want to see next and comment down below if you own any vintage Louis Vuitton pieces or vintage luxury pieces how long you've had them for and you know how much do you love them so hopefully you guys enjoy this video and I'll see you in the next one bye